just like a generation is gone and it's just amazing to think if those people are still alive what the art world the theater world would be like it would be very different where I came from I don't know I think that I've been terrorized as a gay man into believing things about HIV and AIDS that are not provable it was just a crazy construct in the beginning the original definition of AIDS doesn't have any resemblance to the current definition of AIDS. That's not an epidemic. The number of cases reported went up epidemically, you know, exponentially, because the number of tests that was done went up exponentially. It follows a long-standing tradition of basically dumping our abandoned drugs onto the third world. It's really society that's killing these people in general, and modern medicine that's killing them. I believe I'm alive after 20 years of being HIV positive because I didn't take AZT or any anti-AIDS drug. As long as AZT remains on the market, we continue to be betrayed. I think there is a, a, a severe crisis in science as a whole. And in medical scientists in particular, they don't question anything. The entire AIDS establishment is absolutely guilty of some hideous sins and everybody's been proved. That's hard to believe. See, it's, it's like, no, it can't be. That would say we have to acquire information deficiency syndrome or a scandal. We maintain that HIV is a big mistake, possibly one of the biggest mistakes in the 20th century. How is this virus causing AIDS? How is it causing the depletion of immune cells when you can't even find it? Nobody has ever seen HIV. We have seen diagrams of HIV, we've seen posters, all of those with drawings of HIV, but this is only theoretical, the way that it ought to be. When two different parties look at the same data and come to different conclusions, it's no longer scientific. Actually, AIDS is a religion of these people. They believe in this virus. There is so much money being pumped into AIDS that people have no incentive whatsoever to see the truth. Maintaining this industry, maintaining this whole idea that there's this epidemic pending and that HIV causes AIDS is a major public relations uh, process in the United States. If a hypothesis fails to produce results, that we have to reconsider that hypothesis. I'm in the Museum of the City of New York. There is a 20-year retrospective on AIDS in this retrospective, if you look around, there's beautiful posters and very poignant and, and touching photographs and stories of people who have been afflicted with AIDS. Also, all along the walls are little charts, chronologies of events, like when AIDS was discovered, and then the test, the antibody test, that people should be tested to determine do they have this deadly disease, that there is hope, not for a cure, but instead Put time on your side, take AZT or other antiretroviral cocktails. That's the messages. I'm daring all. And I'd like to open up a dialogue, a dialogue that allows those who've been excluded from the communication in the world AIDS to have a forum. These individuals are sincere, they are credentialed, and they have a lot of good questions and challenging statements for those who are absolutely convinced that everything we've been taught about AIDS is right. It is the intent of this program to have a forum for the dissidents. The most responsible and reason to those individuals, we are now going to have an opportunity to see what their argument is as they try to deconstruct what they consider the myth of AIDS. Mm -hmm.